Hi everyone, how's it going? I know my face looks kind of puffy right now. I've actually had all right sleep. I, you know, it's you know, not too tired, so it's good. Um, yeah, so I'm still doing the daily readings, um, but there are going to be some changes to the way that I do the uh, monthly and lunar tarot readings. Um, I'm trying to experiment with a new way of doing my videos. It's not it's not exactly new. I mean, every other <laughs> every other content creator has been able to do what I'm about to do. But yeah, there are going to be some changes to my readings. They might be on time. They might not be on time, but they are going to be dropping um, next month. So yeah, I'm going to be changing the way I do readings from this point on. So it's going to be okay. Um, I'm still doing the dailies in the same way that I used to, but I am going to be making changes from October when it comes to all the, all the other readings as well. Um, so basically I came online to talk about, um, you know what, again, I acknowledge that it's none of my business what people say about me, but you know, because it's related to gang stalking and it's related to the harassment that I've endured, um, I actually want to talk about this, so I'm going to. So basically, I was kind of half awake, half asleep this morning, because I usually am when the kids are getting ready to go to school. There's this person that usually comes over and takes the children to school. So she'll come over. I think she does that with like quite a few of the neighborhood kids. She'll take them and she'll kind of, you know, she'll kind of bring them to school, almost as like a chaperone or something. Um... I think that's normal. I think it's normal for like schools to do that or, or stuff like that. I mean, I haven't seen it before, but I think it's a normal thing. Um, but anyway, she comes over every morning and she picks up the kids. And this one of these chaperones, this particular chaperone, I've seen them before. They're one of the people who uh, reported my videos before. And well, as far as I know, anyway, they're one of the people who reported my videos. And so they've basically been involved in this harassment as well and just like everybody else around this village they've been using my mental health in a bit to kind of cover up what's been going on so this person this chaperone is telling another adult who's with them that I publicly talked about the 10 months of racial harassment and um you know the other person's like oh my god you're joking I'm like I'm sorry what's going on here so hold up. All right. So where is the shock? Like I've literally confronted these people to their face and told them to knock it off repeatedly. And they've lied in front of my face. I've spoken to the police about it. I've spoken to the council about it. I've like, I've, there's like en endless fucking correspondence as to what's happened. I've even got evidence online, even though you'd have to really, really turn up your headphones to hear what's going on. There's even evidence on, online of what they've been doing. So I don't understand where the bullshit comes in. How are you as a chaperone telling this other adult that everything that's been said is bullshit and that it's going too far? I'm not being funny, but there are literally people across the way over there calling me the mad lady. People up there calling me the mad lady. People in extended families calling me the mad lady. you got people from both the son's school and the daughter's school gossiping about me as soon as they see me there have been two children who have responded in different ways to me according to what's been said there was one blonde girl around this village who turned around to her mum and said that's the person they're saying all those terrible things about so that was the first time the second time there was this um biracial kid and she was with her mum her mum's black right this biracial kid was looking at me as if I was some kind of alien. So clearly the kids have been saying shit around the school as well as the chaperone. Now, the reason why they have to lie and they have to say that, you know, they have to make out like me talking about anything publicly is this brand new thing is because they know they're in deep shit. They know that there's been racial harassment going on for 10 months. In fact, the harassment that I've been subjected to by this family They'd been calling me the N word like, like, I remember I had to make a police report about racial abuse that had been happening before we even had beef. So this has been going on for the longest time. So where is where does the bullshit come in? 
So once again, these people are lying and trying to make out like I'm spinning a yarn, but there's evidence all over the fuck, all over fucking social media. Why do, why do people think that this family tried to report it and this chaperone tried to report it? Cause I don't want to get caught out. They be, they're, they're bringing this on themselves. I swear they're bringing this on themselves. And like, as for trying to say stuff to kind of get an argument out of me, because I know that's what this family's been doing, and especially the grown-up, they've been doing that too, trying to say shit in a bid to engineer an argument. Like, you're bringing this completely on yourselves. Like, if the thing is, if you hadn't have been racist in the first place, then the children wouldn't grow up thinking it was a game. Okay, if you, like, as a family, if you hadn't have been racist to begin with, the children wouldn't grow up thinking it's a game and thinking it's a game to harass somebody who's mentally ill, all right? That's the first thing. The second thing is, if it wasn't for all of that, the little girl wouldn't have gotten scared at somebody's fucking laugh. Who does that shit? Like, like who does that shit? Who gets scared at somebody laughing? And then proceeds to try to terrorize said person just because you're scared of a laugh you taught them that in fact all the other like there, there are plenty of petty adults around here that are teaching these children that like well, i mean like you brought this on yourselves why are you going to teach children these values and then be shocked when it goes left and as for me talking about it publicly i've literally risked hospitalization talking about this shit i haven't hidden a goddamn thing like when it comes to the gang stalking my mental health, my mental health practitioners, the police, they were the first people that I told this to. I said, look, these people are being paid to do this, that, and the third. And now even the police are coming out in mainstream media saying, yes, we've been using weapons against people. Yes, we have been, you know, engaging in counterintelligence against people. So now even the police are admitting it. So like, I'll leave a link, I'll leave a link, you know, when I can find the link, but yeah, like, even mainstream media are fucking admitting what the police have been doing, so I don't understand, like, where the bullshit element comes into it, this has gone too far, you've literally been for 10 months terrorizing me, trying to cover it up, and telling people your side of the story, so now when I tell my side, and I do it publicly, it's an issue, an issue, yeah, when I tell my side of the story, uh, you know, publicly, it's an issue, it's an issue for everybody, now that I'm telling my side of the story, so what you thought I was just going to jam in my house for the next five years and not tell anybody what's going on, people don't want me telling my side of the story because they know it's the truth, and they know I'm not going to fucking lie, even if it makes me look bad, so now I've got evidence of harassment, I've even got evidence of wounds of like where the electronic weapons have hit all over my skin. They're very faint, but I've got evidence of the wounds. I've got evidence of the injuries because of all the medical reports. I've got like, I've got evidence of that because of like detached retinas or what have you. That was caused by the weaponry. Non-organic psychosis that was caused by the weaponry. There's evidence all over my files. There's evidence of me making testimonies all over my files and there is evidence of medical professionals and, and police and, and, you know, basically ignoring direct evidence in order to weaponize my mental illness in order to discredit me and in order to lie that none of this is real. And yet they've, they've come out saying that this is real. So basically... These medical professionals have lied and they have knowingly lied in the face of direct evidence about everything that I've been saying. So there ain't nothing that I need to say in order to lie or defend myself with any shit. Like, there's nothing that I need to say. Everyone brought it on themselves. Like, they completely brought it on themselves. Don't fuck around with somebody for 10 months and then, you know, go around telling everybody that I'm terrorizing everyone by keeping quiet. No, we're not going to do that. (laughs) 
I'm not, I'm not being funny. I actually tried to downplay the racial harassment originally because I'm like, no, I'm not going to let a bunch of racists, you know, get one over on me with the lowest common denominator shit they could possibly think to bring up. I'm not going to let a bunch of re... No, I'm not going to say that word. I'm not going to let a bunch of fucking, you know, ignorant, emotionally unintelligent, intellectually unintelligent goons fucking, like, get a rise out of me out about my race, about something that I was born with that I can't control anyway. Like, I wasn't about to let them do that. But the truth is they have been racially harassing me. That's the truth. And they've been doing it long before I even said anything about them, long before I even done anything about them. So, like... But it's gone too, it's gone too far, it's good. Now you're not having any enjoyment out of it. Now it's going too far. They always want to use that line every single time. You as a TI, right? Because the thing is, the whole point of uh, gang stalking us and, and calling us names and slandering us and using our mental illness or our traumas against us, right? The whole thing is supposed to be enjoyable, when you start telling the truth and you start making them look like the fools they are, you take the fun out of it. You take the fun out of it. <laughs> you take that. You take their control over you. They, you take that away from them. It's not fun anymore. That's when they start saying shit. You know, it's not going too far when people are, you know, using my mental illness in order to discredit everything that's happening to me. Or in order to gaslight me into not feeling confident or feeling anxious and therefore not saying anything. It's one thing for you to do that because then you're having fun doing that. You're in control doing that. But then as soon as I speak my truth and not only do people believe me, there's evidence of what I'm saying. Now it's too far. Now, oh, this has gone too far. This, this, is, this whole thing's gone too far. They're, 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 Huh, clutching pearls and shit. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> like, it didn't go too far. People have been lying and harassing people. This is going in the direction it's supposed to go in. It ain't going too far. It's going the exact distance that it needs to. What it's, what it's done, what this situation has done, it stopped becoming fun for people who are going to engage in this harassment. It stopped becoming fun for people who are going to lie, people who are going to emotionally gaslight me. And by the way, I know this, there's a couple of people emotionally gaslighting me right now. I'm playing the long game. I'm playing the long game. One, one way or another, these people are going to trip and do and say something stupid and give me the evidence I need to cut them off for good. One of these days, they're going to catch themselves slipping thinking they can fucking emotionally terrorize me and get away with it. They're about to learn something. They're about to learn something. You understand? And, you know, there's so much things that I know that, like, so many things that I know about so many people. I know they don't want that read. about mad yeah i know you don't want that read there are way too many things i know about way too many people you have to call me mad otherwise if you if you don't and people don't believe that i'm crackers or what have you then the amount of tea that i gotta spill everybody's gonna know that i'm telling the fucking truth but even then the mad thing didn't quite work did it <laughs> so Yeah. Yeah. The people are going to learn today. I don't play around with this shit. You do not do this to people and get away with it. It's as simple as that. That is bullshit and it's going too far. It's going too far. It's, no, no. It just stopped being fun for you. But it's about to get a lot less fun. Because this is just the beginning. <laughs> It's just the beginning. I said I wanted, I said I wanted, I said what I wanted yesterday. And I meant it. Anyway. 
you guys peace and blessings my fellow ti's i love you so much and yeah it's gonna be okay we're gonna be all right relatively speaking you know we're gonna be okay we just have to you know remain positive and remain focused so i love you guys peace and blessings mm -hmm. bye bye